Blowing money. Woo, blowing money fast. Making it rain and making it rain. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the hair experience. We're talking about hair replacements and hair systems. You're going to say, Curtis, why are you doing this stupid stuff in front of the camera? Today we're talking about CNC um, hair systems or hair replacements versus a poly or a lace or anything like that that's made out of, out of China, basically. So welcome to the channel. Welcome to the hair experience. What we talk about here is hair replacements and hair systems, bonding it, cutting it, cleaning it, installing it maintaining it and day life with it subscribe below it's super important to me i would like that a lot it's right over there thank you if you click it okay anyways uh starter kit will get you everything you need at home and everything in one box so you don't have to pick around and hope you get something from amazon or not to say amazon doesn't ship their stuff because they always do to me but you get my point everything's in one box get it all at home so you can do it all um together in one thing and you support the channel Video ebook will teach you how to do it. The written ebook will teach you how to do it. Everything's available at myhairexperience.com. Why am I talking about CNC stuff? Because it's important. I've done a lot of research on this, and I was doing the this stuff about blowing money because those things are expensive. Um, I'm not now. I, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna. I'm not going into this being negative about it. I'm not going into this being um, uh, derogatory towards their product. I'm not going at saying that it's bad because I can tell you right now that it's not. I have never seen one, touched one, feel, felt one, but I watched the 39-step process it takes to make one. They spent some money. That they spent some money on on people, um, equipment, product. I mean, they, they, they're Italian. The people who make these products from the CNC factory that I saw, obviously I don't want to say any names due to trademarks and things like that, but they're in Italy. It's not a sweatshop guys. And it's not a, uh, it's not dirty hair and all that stuff. I mean, they make a quality product, but with quality comes a price tag, 3,600 to $6,000. Um, now they say that unit will last well over a year, which I believe, um, that it's repairable, which I believe, which all that is totally true. They also say that the hair is unprocessed. Now guys, unprocessed hair, you'll see this written up a lot in all of the companies that sell hair replacements and hair systems. Unprocessed, Remy, Virgin, European, Indian, What? What? <laughs> what? Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Bullshit. I can't say it again. Um, <laughs> look, the factory that they make those CNC pieces in, that stuff is unprocessed, 100% virgin hair. Um, and you pay a price for it. And that, that much work, that much effort, the hair being never processed once in its life, you know, they get women with ponytails and they cut their ponytails, okay? And then they check that stuff under a microscope to make sure it was never colored or processed or treated. Then they use that product. I'm not endorsing them. I have never spoke to those people. I've never went there. I've never been called from them. None of that stuff. But I, I mean, credit needs to be due where credit is due. Um, do I, I think it's overpriced. Um, I do, but it's like, it's like anything. If you name a price for something and somebody's willing to pay it, then you have the right price. That's kind of the way it is. Um, now, back to planet Earth, where, where I live, um, I cannot pay $3,600 to $6,000 for one hair unit. That just would never happen in my world. Um, so we, as normal working class uh, people, deal with um, maybe we'll call it second or third tier level uh, products. Um, I am going to say that the product that I am selling is going to be substandard in comparison to a CNC system. It's not going to be that quality, um, but it comes at, at less than one-tenth of the cost. Actually, less than about one-fifteenth of the cost. It's even more than that, depending if it costs you six grand for one. You, you see my point. There has to be quality over compromise um, or compromise with quality based on price. That's where I come in. 
um, I can offer you the system to last you. And we're not up and running yet. We're still a couple of weeks out. August 1st is what we're shooting for. Um, to last you that three months, that's what I'm going to tell you. My footage is, is to last three months is what it should last. And then you're going to need to replace it. Now, if you get five, six, seven months in the winter or something like that, more power to you, but I'm just never going to promise anything that I can't deliver. <clears throat> so what I'm getting at when I said that everybody says I've got Remy, Indian, uh, every, uh, Ukraine, I've got all these different hairs and they're better. I have never heard one person say that I have American hair. I don't get it. It's like driving a foreign car. It's a foreign car because it's not from where you are. So if you're in Germany and there's a BMW dealership, they're cheaper than there are in America because we're the suckers that pay more for a car. Obviously, there's taxes and stuff to come over to the States. But you get my point because it's a foreign car. Look, when the, when the hair that we get in our working class um, everyday uh, hair units is built, <coughs> that hair is processed, okay? And it is processed to a fault. That is what causes it to oxidize um, and fall out of the unit and break apart and things like that and deteriorate over a faster time than a CNC unit. Um, people say Remy hair. I mean, yes and no. Um, it's impossible to have a full Remy unit um, without any processing. That is physically almost impossible unless you take ex exactly how they do those CNC prosthetics and do it that way. Now it's totally possible, don't get me wrong, but it is so it would be so expensive just like the the CNC units that you're seeing. That's what you would get. You're not going to get a 2 to 600 dollar hair unit with unprocessed undamaged hair. I really don't think. I'm yet to see it. So it is Remy to a certain extent, but you have to, Remy is a very loosely used term <laughs> also. Unprocessed and untreated, lie. Um, all of the stuff is processed and treated because how do you think we get the colors that we get um, based on the client needing whatever color he or she needs? <coughs> they dye it, they strip it, they do, they remove the cuticle, a lot of the cuticle, which is a big, big deal. The more processing that they do, the less durable the hair is against real world use, oxidation, chemicals, sunshine, sweating. It's, it's, it makes it less, um, it actually makes it flow differently. It show it has no life to it. Um, when you strip that cuticle all the way down to the core, it has no more life. So we're, we're, we're still talking about CNC's and we're still talking about lace and poly and, and the hybrid units and things like that. One is better than the other. CNC is better than what I wear or what I can offer to you or what 99% of the other companies can offer to you. CNC is better than that. I've never seen an exposed hairline on one like I do, but I will tell you that at what cost is it acceptable? That's where I kind of have to draw the line and say, I can't spin this <coughs> based on just wanting my hair back, if that makes sense. So I hope that makes sense to you guys and I hope I got some of that out there. Um, I'm, not, I'm not picking on a company. I'm not saying one person has a bad product, one does not. Um, I'm not saying mine is better than theirs or theirs. I'm saying their product's better than mine, straight up. It's just that simple. I've always been real with you guys. That thing is probably dope. Would I love one? Yes. Would I pay for it? No. Would I want to pay for it? I'm spitting everyone. What I'm, would I want to pay for it? No. But I'm not rich. I'm a normal working guy. So that's what I got today, guys. Um, the lace base and the poly versus the CNC. You're going to get an awful lot more time out of a CNC from what I've been told um, than you will a normal run-of-the-mill unit. Um, but at what cost are we okay with it? <sighs> I just got hot now all of a sudden. That was kind of heated. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. 10,000 subscribers. Super excited. We're going to try to launch August 1st. Um, and if you do want that CNC, go for it. I mean, it's just a lot of money. Um, I just, I, I'm on, I have to be down here like where normal people are to pay for my stuff. So, anyways, um, any questions, let me know. 
If you have a comment on the CNC stuff, let me know, please. Um, or on anything I had to say about Remy Hair or whoever gets whatever they get, hit me up in the comments. I'm cool with it. So um, that's what we got, and we'll see you in a couple days. Thanks, guys.